thrifting mom. I'm just going to show you real quick my haul from the Goodwill outlet. $1.75 a piece. I'm going to go quickly because my niece and nephew are in here, so not sure how long I'm going to have. Uh, so this is a bicyclist, uh, brand new with tags, um, short sleeve shirt. These sell pretty well, about $30. We have a Banana Republic t-shirt, Burberry uh, suit jacket, and this is Scotch and Soda. This is a brand that a lot of you guys might not be familiar with, but it's a very good seller. Um, I haven't looked it up yet, but probably like 50 bucks. A J. Crew merino wool sweater. Um, this is a, has no label on it, but it's cashmere, and it's made in Italy. So I'm going to look up the RN number, and I'll let you guys know who, uh, who the manufacturer is. But even without one, probably still bring 35 to 40. Then I have another men's suit jacket. I forget what brand this was, but, oh, Gavinci, that's why I bought it. Uh, Gavinci, it's a good um, Italian brand. So let's go over to the women's. This is a women's Banana Republic dress, maxi dress. Domo, very popular with the 14, 15 year olds. Um, a life is good, thermal. Um, Forever 21 plus size. That's actually a pretty good score because there's a lot of juniors that, you know, are busty, plus size girls, but they still want to wear Forever 21. Um, this is a beautiful DKNY, almost brand new dress. Uh, this is a Coldwater Creek sweater. Um, it's, I think it's a larger size. Uh, let's see, no, that's a medium, but it's new with tags. Um, Foxcroft, another definite bolo. You want to definitely check out uh, Foxcroft. It's, they sell it in Nordstrom, and this will probably sell for probably 35 or 40. Then we got a Ed Hardy, still sells overseas. A Woolrich sweater, brand new, wool. J. Crew plaid, plaid's really popular. Kate Hill merino wool sweater. Um, this is a cool zebra vest. And it's by, uh, who the heck is it by? Susan Bristol. Then this is a Neiman Marcus um, blazer, yellow. Life is good t shirt. Uh, Christmas sweater, I'll put that away for next year. Um, this is crew cut. No, this is a mini Bowden. Ralph Lauren plaid jumper. Um, oh, and if you guys don't pick these up, this is a nurse's. Uh oh. Say hi, Kellen. Hi. Say hi. Oh, that's my nephew. Um, Red Sox nurses scrubs. These sell well. Um, I usually pick them up even if they don't say Red Sox because nurse scrubs uh, sell very well. Uh, Beatles t shirt. I saw on one of the boards. Someone said that they're come, some anniversary for the Beatles is coming up, so good keywords. Susan Bristol boucle sweater, um, an Avenue 30, size 30. This is plus size. Leslie Hope turned me on to big uh, women's clothing, and it does very well. And then I have a Lily Pulitzer um, cable knit sweater. I also got uh, a bunch of pairs of pants. They range from J. Crew to Eddie Bauer. And I got two, excuse the mess. This is stuff from last time. I don't even have it listed yet. I'm still shopping. A Betty Boop uh, little uh, purse, good keywords, and a Rosetti purse. It's actually reversible. And these were three dollars each, so I said, you know, I have to pick them up, even if I just get twenty-five or thirty bucks. But so that's my haul. And oh, sorry, I forgot the ties. Brooks Brothers Gap vintage ski tie. That's gonna go on right away for the Olympics. Brooks Brothers and Liberty London. This is not the Target. This is the actual high-end Liberty of London which does better than the Target brand. So that's my haul, and I think I paid 80 bucks for everything, so that means I got 40 pieces, actually a little bit more than 40 pieces, probably 45 to 50, and I'm hoping to make about 600, um, give or take, and I'll post, uh, as soon as I sell some of the items, I'll post it in this link so you guys can see what my return is, and I hope this was helpful. Take care.